Good morning, guys. We are at the rent house. We are looking at a door jam, and I'm going to show you what we got going on. We have where on the front door they have kicked out the door jam and broke this off. The deadbolt will, will work, but the striker on the door itself will not work. So what we're going to do is I am going to reconstruct this piece of metal. I'm, I say that I'm going to overlay this piece of metal. I'm going to overlay it with a piece of purling, and uh, we're going to notch it out for this. We're going to notch it to where it fits right in this groove. We're going to screw it on so it'll be extra strong, and then we're going to drill our holes so that we can make this thing work today. All right, so we've got our piece of purling. Let me show you with this little piece how it's going to go on here. So basically, this little piece is an example. What we're going to do is we are going to cut a piece of purling that goes all the way back to the wall here. And it's going to come out over here on this side. We are going to place it on here. All right. We're going to run it 18 inches. It's going to come all the way up and go past this. And that way it'll have something solid to screw into. Now this part, then we'll have to drill our hole out for our plunger for our door. We'll have to drill our hole out here for our plunger for our deadbolt. And then that right there should be there. And it's going to be a lot tougher to kick that out. It's not going to be this flimsy aluminum and wood. It's going to be steel mounted with some big screws, screwing it down to this, this uh, stud here. So I'm going to show you what we've got here. I've already done some measurements. This is an inch and a quarter out. And of course the purling makes a natural bend. So we're going to go over the edge like that, but we're going to have to trim off part of it to go behind this lip. And so that's what we're going to do. I've got it marked on my purling. Uh, you can see the line here in the sunshine. I've got this line here marked. I'm going to cut this out with my metal cutting wheel and my four inch grinder. I'm going to cut this out and I'm just going to cut that out, cut this one out. Then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to cut hole down this whole side right here along that line right there and that'll be my piece and then once we get that piece cut out then we can figure out where our holes are going to be so I'm going to let you follow along with me as I cut this thing out okay guys as always before you do this kind of thing make sure you wear your safety glasses when you're using a cutoff wheel especially when you're grinding metal you've only got two of these eyes and you won't take care of them um, I'm gonna set you up here where you can see what we're doing I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna zoom you in here you always want to cut off those small pieces first these little pieces before you cut the whole thing off so that you've got the whole platform to hold this thing still as you're as you're using your cutoff wheel uh, let me see what we got here okay i'm gonna step on my purling and i'm gonna A, this is my striker the part that my door will hit I'll put a hole here and a hole in here for my deadbolt now I'm gonna turn this thing like this and I am gonna cut down the length of it uh, sea purling guys is really handy I use it for all kinds of stuff and uh, I've got a lot of it laying around because we work in the metal all the time so anyway, I'm gonna place you back down here do this one this one's just a long straight cut I'm gonna hold it with my foot got my carpet guys coming
there's a piece right there. Now, right now that little bit is red hot. But you can see, we've got it cut out. And that is for our door. In a minute when it cools off, we are going to fit it. We may have to trim it a little bit more, but right now it's cut out anyway. Alright guys, what we're going to do is we're going to drill a couple of holes for our plate. We're going to drill a couple of holes, one in the bottom, one in the top. We'll end up putting another couple in it, but right now we've got to just get it on the, on the door jam and see where we're at. Got a 3 16th inch bit sitting out here on the porch and you hear a train going by, if you're wondering. Come on, drill. Hold on both ends. Got it to where my screw can go through. As you can see, it sticks up just a little, so I'm going to use a little bit, little bit bigger bit so I can countersink that just a hair. Get this screw back out. Get a larger bit. This bit needs to be bigger than the head itself, or about the same size as the head itself. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to waller that hole out just a hair. Just so my screw sits down in there a little bit flush and doesn't drag the door. Perfect. Okay, so let's put this bad boy on the door. Okay, we're gonna screw a door jam on. Got some three inch screws. That sucked that down. Now I'm gonna put one in the top. Put one right here in the top. Suck down. Alright, guys. What I did was got my jam in, drilled four holes in the corner, and I'm gonna take my, my four inch grinder with a cutoff wheel and I'm gonna just connect the dots. I may get over a little bit, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna try to make this hole fit my plunger and uh, we're gonna see how it works. top hole cut out right here the deadbolt fits in now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out a hole for the plunger I've got it marked two marks here on how wide it needs to be but what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole in each corner we're gonna cut it off with the cutoff wheel and then we're gonna fit it in as well So you can see we drilled four holes. Now we're going to take our cutoff wheel and we're going to cut across and we're going to cut this out. 
Alright, and watch as we do that. And now I'm going to take and I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and pry that out. Let's see how the door does before we have to start whittling it away. Well, I do believe that's done. Okay, we got the final project. Show you what we did. We got four screws in it. We drilled out our hole for our plungers. And now we have a much more secure door for the tenants to have for their house.